The guy asked this question. Teddy, should I ever put unemployed in my LinkedIn profile if I've in fact am or have been unemployed? Let me show you what he's talking about and give you my recommendation. So let's go down here and look at my experience section. So you can see here in the experience section that I'm currently working. Now, if I become unemployed in some, for some reason or other, and I hope my wife doesn't fire me, then should I put unemployed there? Well, the answer is absolutely clearly no, you should not. Let me talk about what you can do. Number one, if you're unemployed and you are want to seek a job in the same space where you used to work, don't rush to change this to not working there. Don't rush to update this to show that you've moved on and left. That doesn't mean you don't do it, just don't rush to do it. Give yourself at least a couple weeks, maybe a month, to work through the process to get started to find another job. Now, you will want to, and my recommendation is within a month, uh, get take, take and change that job and say you're no longer there. You hit, hit the edit button and say no longer there and put the month or, or at least the year that you left. But here's another idea. The other idea is you could add what LinkedIn has just given us, which is a career break. You can add a career break in here. So when you go to add a career break, you've got lots of options. And I've talked about this in some other messaging and other video I did. You've got lots of options you can put in here. You can put that you're in career transition or you're taking a gap year or you're, uh, you know, you're retired or whatever, or maybe you, you know, whatever the reason, you do not need to say you were fired. You can just simply say that you're in career transition, you're in, in a gap year, or you were laid off for position eliminated. You could do, you could do that. These are all good options to put in there. And um, so you could put that there when you're ready. Fortunately, when you choose a type, you get to say where you are, you get to say what year you or and and or month if you want. But even better than that, I can come down here and yes, you could change your headline. I don't recommend doing that here, but you could put a description. In this description, you could put, do not put why you were fired. Do not put why you were let go. Do not put why your position was eliminated. Instead, Tell the viewer what you are doing to get to the job that you want to have. Or tell the viewer, again, who you are, what you do, what you want to do to create value for other businesses. Use keyword rich. You get 2,000 characters in here to t if you want to use that many. But at the very least, write a sentence or two that clearly says, I'll give it to you in my context, I'm a LinkedIn strategist looking for my next position where I can help an organization be successful with my LinkedIn strategy, coaching, and training for services and skills. So use that description to be very clearly to tell the, your viewer who you are and what you do slash want to do. Absolutely, do not put a role in here that says you're unemployed. Instead, use that career break feature and put in there that you're in on a career uh, gap, you're in career transition, or whatever the right words are, but use that description box to tell the viewer who you are, what you do, what you can do, and what you want to be doing. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope you can take advantage of this career break feature when appropriate for you.